Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on how to do alternate row colors in Excel. In today's video you will learn how to do alternate row coloring using Format Painter and using conditional formatting. Now basically there are three ways to do the alternate row formatting. The first one is to manually select all the repeating rows. Go to Fill tab. Select your desired color and it will apply the alternating row colors to the data set. Now let's say if you have a very large data set like thousand of rows, it will be very difficult to apply this method. But there is another method you can use to apply this type of formatting is by using the format painter. For that, let's undo this. Just select the second row of the data. Fill the color and now select first two rows, go to Format Painter and now select all the remaining rows of that data set. So what it does, it will apply the formatting of first two rows to the whole data set. Now the problem with this method is if you add or remove the data from the table, it will disturb the formatting like if I add a row here. You can see the same color repeat twice. Now to counter this problem, there's a third method by using the conditional formatting. Let's just undo this. For that, select the data, go to conditional formatting, go to new rules, select use a formula to determine which cell to format. Now in the formula field, enter equal sign odd start the bracket enter row then a pair of bracket and close the first bracket now again equal sign and again row and the pair of bracket now go to format select your desired color press ok and press ok now you can see it has automatically applied the alternate row coloring to the whole data set now if you add any record, let's say I add a row here, it will automatically adjust the alternate row color formatting in the data set. You can also see when if I delete the row. Now that's all for today. Thank you.